Hey guys, in today's micro lecture, we're going to just continue talking about trauma. Now in this session, we're going to talk about flail segment, which is associated with multiple rib fractures. Okay, so in this image, guys, you can see that this patient has sustained trauma to multiple ribs. Now on this occasion, it's three. But flail segment can be two or more ribs that are detached from the main rib cage. So it can be four, five, six. Now what you have to remember about flail segment is number one, it takes a lot of energy to fracture a rib, let alone multiple ribs. So think about the typical mechanisms of injury that would cause this. I'm sure you can come up with a few. Falls from heights, for example, landing on the chest. Maybe a nasty assault. We, maybe using weapons, maybe not. Maybe you've been hit by a car at high speeds. Whatever the mechanisms of injury, this patient not only will be in a lot of pain, they may also be indicated for spinal immobilization if you're using the nexus criteria, because this is typically what we would call a distracting injury. Now on this occasion, when you're assessing your patients A, B and C, you would check the airway that it's clear, chances are they could be conscious and talking, keep the, keep the C-spine nice and still, check the breathing. Now when you're checking breathing, you're thinking about all those things that we mentioned in our, in our previous lectures and things that you've read about and all the things that you've uh, been taught at the workshop, looking for rate, rhythm, depth, regularity. And of course, in, this, in the instance of trauma, you're exposing the chest and that's when you're going to see flail segment. And what you're likely to see is as per this image, when the patient takes a breath in, the rib cage, the flail portion actually sucks inwards. And when they breathe out, the expiration, the expiration image here, you can see that the flail segment pushes outwards. Now, in some occasions, it can be very subtle, so you really do have to look for it. But if this patient is conscious, then they're gonna be in a lot of pain. As the paramedic, your treatment is to manage the A, Bs and Cs, and to place a large dressing over this to try and help stabilize the chest wall and of course manage the pain. They are the key principles. Now, this patient may possibly also be hypoxic, so looking like they're pale, sweaty, clammy, because it's gonna be interfering with their oxygenation. Let's also have a look at some other images of flail segment. Now, when you expose your patient, that's probably what it's going to look like because it's gonna be tender, it's gonna be red and injured and bruised, and it's not gonna just jump out at you like the nice clean picture that we just saw. This is more than likely what it's going to look like. Okay guys, so that's a whistle stop uh, lecture on flail segment. I thank you for your attention, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, my name's Sam Willis, you guys take care, bye bye.